Hello Grade 11 Learners! Welcome back to our video lesson. You are now watching the second episode of our quarter 2 video lesson on empowerment technology. Are you ready for another topic about technology? I know you are. This is Sir Jazil saying, just stay focused, just be happy, and just continue watching our video for today. Let's start. Before we begin with our lesson, I will be giving you a simple activity. This activity is called Sequence. Here are the instructions. Steps in ICT project process will be shown on the screen. Arrange them in the right sequence. Did you get the instructions? That's good! Let's start! You may type your answers in the comment box below. Very good everyone! Let's see if your answers are correct. Did you get the correct sequence? Amazing! What do you think is our topic for today? That's right! Our topic for today is all about the simplified ICT project process in developing the ICT for social change. Before we dig deeper into it, I will first present to you our objectives for this lesson. Number 1. Identify steps in ICT project process. Number 2. Arrange the steps in the correct order. I know, most of you have already created your own Facebook page. We can use your Facebook page to create an ICT project. What is an ICT project? From the combination of the word ICT, and the word project. ICT or Information and Communications Technology is the communication and interaction of people through technology. And project means a specific plan or design. In other words, ICT project means that it is a design or a plan that will help you communicate what you want to tell or show other people through technology. It can be about an advocacy, social awareness, community issues and concern, and many more. Now that you already know its definition, the question is, how to start an ICT project? Based on the activity a while ago, you are able to identify the different steps in doing an ICT project. We are now going to talk about them one by one. Let's have the first step. Planning What is planning? Perfect! Planning is the establishment of goals or the act of making or carrying out what you wanted to do. Making an ICT project, planning is the first step. You need to plan first before making a move. Because as the saying goes, failing to plan is planning to fail. You cannot be successful with your project if you do not plan. Now, what should you include in planning for your ICT project? We have the first one. Conceptualizing your project. Think about what topic, idea, 
or issues you want to talk about in your project. The next one, researching on available data about your topic. Once you have chosen a topic, research for supporting data about it to attract and persuade other people in what you are advocating. Aside from that, we also have setting deadlines and meetings. Setting deadlines will make you concentrate and finish the project on time. And by doing meetings with your teammates, you can brainstorm ideas that will help you improve your project. We also have the next one, assigning people to various tasks. Assigning everyone to do something will make the job lighter as the work is distributed to everyone. The leader should monitor if every member has done their part. By doing so, the completion of the project will be smoother. The next one, we have finding a web or blog host. There should be a leader in the team to monitor the progress of the project. This way, the members will have someone to follow and they will be guided on the task they are doing. The leader can be the web or blog host that will monitor the page or website of your ICT project. Another one is creating a sitemap for your website. What is a sitemap? A sitemap is a file where you provide information about the pages, videos, and other files on your site and the relationship between them. Though this may not be a requirement for everyone, you can create one to help people be guided in visiting your project. Another thing to do is listing down all applications that you need including web apps. You can use different applications if it helps you in your ICT project. And the last one, funding. You should also think of the expenses you might need when you want to start your ICT project. For large-scale projects, it might need funding from companies and agencies. But for simple and personal projects, not much cost is needed. Those are the things you need to consider in the first step of doing an ICT project. The planning. Now, the next step is development. The second step involves the actual creation of the website. It involves the production of images, infographics, and other materials needed for the project. After planning everything, the next thing to do is to make an action and start your own ICT project. A great start would be making infographics and sharing images about your ICT project to attract other people in joining you in the project. The third step would be release and promotion. From the words itself, it is the actual release or start of your ICT project. It is sharing your page or website for the public and promoting through different social media websites. And of course, the last one, maintenance. After the release of your ICT project, it should not just end there. You need to continue monitoring your pages and websites. Gather everyone's opinion and update your contents to make more people support your project. Those are the different steps in making an ICT project. Were you able to remember all the steps in their sequence? Wonderful! Now, let's test if you can really remember the different steps in making an ICT project. Let me give you another activity. This activity is called identify and arrange here are the instructions identify what step in making an ict project is being described 
and tell if it is the first, second, third, or fourth step. Are you ready? First one. What do you think is this step? Fantastic! It is planning. Is it the first, second, third, or fourth step? Outstanding! It is the first step. What about number two? That's it! The correct answer is maintenance. Is it the first, second, third, or fourth step? Sensational! It is the fourth step. Number three. You got it! The correct answer is development. Is it the first, second, third, or fourth step? Good job! It is the second step. What about the last one? Good work! The correct answer is release and promotion. Is it the first, second, third, or fourth step? That's right. It is the third step. Wonderful, everyone. How many correct answers did you get? That's great. Congratulations for a job well done. That is our topic for today. Did you learn something from this episode? I know you did. See you again in our next video lesson. This is Sir Jazil saying, just stay focused, just be happy, and just wait for our next Ayos at Munoz e-tech episode. Bye!